So, didn't you guys turn this into a trap them baby thing? I'm sure you did. The doctors disagree with you. The doctors say I wasn't using drugs and that I wasn't making any of this up. That it is, in fact, irregular bleeding and they're not sure what's causing it. It could have been acute stress. Could be an STD from my former partner. You might want to watch out for that. Uh, I am running tests on that right now. Um, they don't know. And, um, and I didn't make anything up. And I didn't lord information. I, I, I told you what I knew when I knew it. I didn't declare it a pregnancy when I didn't feel that it was. I said, I'm leaning toward no, but I don't really know. And I stayed true to my principles that if it was, I wasn't going to abort. And I also stayed true to my principles that I wasn't going to let an unworthy father tell me what to do, you know, tell me how to do this or what to do about this. And I also pushed out the partner and saying, you know what, you're really mean. How dare you accuse me of doing this for your attention? That's so narcissistic and so evil that you would turn around and to, as far as you know, you know, endorsing certain agendas could cer have certain stressors like say the WhatsApp app or whatever little slippery slope of morality that is to endorse this or that or the other, which causes stress. And then you act and act, act, act in the way that you do, which causes stress. And then boom, this could lead to miscarriage. And as far as you knew, there was a baby. You knew there was a risk, Mr. Vasectomy. You knew that there was a risk. You knew that there was a risk. And you put all the blame on me and bail. And I didn't lie. And I didn't do the things or have the motives that you thought. And I was trying to be forthcoming about what's going on. So this is a perfect example of how, you know, these little tiny acts of evil can turn into ultimate evil, can turn into helping kill your own child and cover it up and blame the mother and deny that it's yours and really bad stuff. So this is exactly my warning to you all is I've seen this where people go, well, I'll just, I want to protect me and mine. And so I'll just do these little evil things. That won't, that's not enough to get my soul. It can be in an instant. And I knew it when I was, when I met this guy that I knew a bunch of things. I knew that his soul would be on the line very much so. And now I get it. And I knew that, um, I looked at him, I saw retribution. I knew it, and it, it turned out I was right. It just wasn't in the way that I had hoped. He talked a good game, and he said this was about marriage. He said this is about Kiluminati. He said this is about babies and all this other stuff. And I went, okay, well, since I see that there is something divine presence in all of this too, that there is a breakthrough, I just feel it. I'm gonna go forward and, and have a say yes kind of attitude. Clearly, I did. Clearly, I yessed too hard, um, but I wasn't wrong. And um, hopefully this did lead to a breakthrough. And I knew this wasn't going to be the mi as minor of a player as he wanted to be. I knew there was, I knew God was gonna, I just knew it, that God was gonna do something a little bit bigger. And unfortunately, you know, we have one goal in this life, which is to obtain, regain, and maintain your soul. And if you are not doing that, you are choosing wrong. So the counsel around you that told you to do this or that in defiance of God was wrong. You cannot be a person of God. You cannot walk God's path and defy his reality. This is all God's thing. Who the fuck do you think you are? I don't care what happens. Well, who was it that quoted, without quotes, Matthews? Mason, I believe that was you. You said... Don't fear the one that takes your life. Fear the one that takes your soul. But that goes for everybody, no matter how old or how young. That goes for everybody. Who happened to that guy? You might want to find him soon, because you are not on a humble path. You have been very mean to me. And I really don't deserve it. And you're robbing you, too. So... Your counsel needs to be evaluated, and I'd recommend that you all take a knee. For all you guys knew, this was a baby. For all I knew, it was a baby, and this is how you reacted. It's worth thinking about. It's your busy schedule.